And now for something planned. If you weren't with us in the first practice, it's, I've never seen a planned race car. Daryl, have you? No, I don't think I have. No? Well, now we've seen everything. Now, I've seen Jackie Stewart's. Planned, though, right? Well, Jackie Stewart's tartan plaid around his, the Stewart yeah. colors around his helmet, but I not a whole race car. I thought it's flannel. Well, it's flannel is a material. Flannel is not a pattern. You're right. You're right about that. I think okay. there's, a, I think there's a, a bit of a debate here. <laughs> well, if it's fast, <laughs> it won't matter what it is. Well, <laughs> fast flannel, fast flannel, fast Friday. Boys, we got a lot of action oh, happening yeah. right now. Oh. It's gonna get a little bit crazy here, boys. Now Kyle Busch took off. He's in turn three already. There are a couple other cars on the racetrack, but mostly there's a draft that's going to form up here, and it's going to be 16 cars long when it gets formed. I like these this, two groups. This is going to get good, brother. Good. I like this. I like what I'm seeing. I don't know if Kyle Busch is trying to make a qualifying run here, but it's going to get pretty much squashed by this huge pack that's ahead of them. He's midway down the back straightaway. That pack's going into three, and good chance he'll get a draft off of that car. That's exactly what you don't want to have happen if you're trying to make a qualifying run. Yeah, Kyle went out by himself, so did Timothy Peters and A.J. Allmendinger, and then there's this. I think he's far enough back that he might get a teeny bit of help, but he's not going to get a whole lot. That big pack's bad. way ahead of wow. him. Wow, this train's running on time. Yeah, look who's leading it. Guy that's been... A couple guys been pretty successful here lately. Where's Jamie Mack? He had the fastest lap. Back in there about... Uh, I don't and now, I don't see him. Whoa, Kyle Busch to the top. That tells you he's getting some help. Oh, well, you was, can see him, yeah. they're helping you. Know? No, it was, that was just a get up to speed yeah, lap for those other guys. He was the first car to really put in a, a, <laughs> a clock lap. Well, that's a single car run, yeah. 193 miles an hour. Yeah, these guys are all, they're going to get into the 47s. <laughs> they're going to get into 205. <laughs> I, well, I look just at that draft, how much the 78 car pulled up to the 21 and went right on by. I think we're going to see some serious speeds here, boys. Here we go. Jamie Mack, 201.1. Brendan gone, 201.0. And that was getting, that was kind of getting up to speed. They hadn't got the water warm yet. <laughs> so don't don't get into sitting on a hot stove. Oh, no, no, no. Like you described this place last week, okay? <laughs> That's what my dad always said. So I need it warm long, long enough to get your water on. Okay. Ice water. Oh, yeah. That's it. In your veins. Not pass water. <laughs> That's an old saying. Yeah, I heard that years ago. I, I didn't realize other people hadn't heard it. I surely don't want to have to explain it. That's okay. I think this is a sign and tells you what these teams are focused on. Rarely do we see them do this much in the draft and practice, especially the final practice. But Daytona was an eye-opener for so many teams on how bad these cars handled. Oh, and now they're out there in the pack trying to get the handling going. Yeah. Holy moly. And look at that. Two, and, that's been, three. and that's one of the reasons why when you're having to draft and be nose to tail, inches away from one another at 203 plus miles per hour. And Mike, this, this is a 2.6 mile racetrack. It feels like about a half mile when you're going that fast. That back straightaway goes by in a hurry. I, I think they'll be quicker yet. I, I was, I was, I wasn't kidding when I said we might see 205. I love that shot. Look at the sparks coming off the 17 of Stanhouse to the front fascia of the four car of Kevin Harvick. Pretty cool. 21 cars now in this pack as they fan out three wide through the tri oval. That's almost 204, 203.9 that time by. And still, Jamie McMurray fastest. Now, one thing that I think to take note of is they left Pit Road pretty much single file. They caught some other cars. In the race, they'll start side by side, and they'll run side by side, maybe three wide for a little while. Then they'll get single file. You'll see some of those big, fast speeds. But unless they all cars get lined up single file in the race, to get to 204, that's going to be... It's, if it happens, it's not going to happen very often. Well, just hold on a second, because this is going to be about two, four and a half right here. I, mean. yeah, I, think, I think they came up on some cars in traffic. Just pretty much settled in right here at 203.9. That's 
right on the edge of 204, obviously. But uh, there was some passing going on, so they stay hooked up. Look, I, I think they got 205 in them. Look at McMurray. He has a big run down Oh, that one's spinning. That and it's McMurray. Got it. Man, that thing is... That car... Yeah, man, he's jumped. You got that right. Well, just hope he's a ride right he there. He's been incredibly fast. He got a huge runoff turn two, caught a back a pack of cars, made a quick move, and ended up in the fence. Mike, it, it just really wouldn't surprise me to see uh, some kind of maybe adjustment on the speeds here because the cars are really, really fast. Yeah, that just that happened way too easy. And he's climbed out. Jamie McMurray is out of the car. Thank goodness. are all, you know, standing around at 13, one of our faster cars. There's McMurray out of the car. All right, let's see what happened here. As McMurray had a big run coming off, too. See the 31 of Newman with a pretty good run. Oh, he maybe kind of tired. Something happened to that car. It just yeah. went around all by itself on the straightaway. And, and see, what really sent that car over was when Newman hit him on the left side and lifted the right side up and caught air. Yeah. And look at that car start come rolling. apart against the fence. It just disintegrates. I mean, everything did its job of what it's designed to do. The fence kept the car on the racetrack. The car stayed intact. Watch this car now. It's just gonna it's gonna turn all by itself right there. Oh, left the left rear, rear. The left, left rear, rear tire. Right yeah. Right over the top of Newman's car. Newman and Ty Dillon both with a good bit of damage. And Mike, the two fastest cars, the one and the 13, were both involved in that accident. That's right. Now watch the left rear on the number one. Yeah, you can see it start to turn sideways. He's trying to adjust to keep it going straight. But once he turns back to the right, the back end just has no, no grip to keep it going in a straight line. Now see, I think the car is fine. started to lift a tiny bit. And then contact from the 31. Yeah. When that right side started to come up just that little wee bit, and then the 31 hit him in the left side, it just flipped him over. But I think that's what NASCAR is going to be looking at, is that right side came up a tiny bit and caught a little air, even just before the 31 bit contact. And that goes back to what you were saying, D.W., about how fast these cars are right now. They're just right. blazingly fast. Ty Dillon. He checked out and get from behind. Ty had done our Fox Procast, was uh, happy he had won the first practice session. Pretty now, nice car from our visor camera. Thank goodness, look, the safer barrier is right there. He kind of goes above them a little bit, but nonetheless, safer barrier there to in this situation. And a lot of reinforcing in that catch fence to keep that car contained and on the track surface. And all of that infield area has now been paved. This is riding with Kevin Harvey. You can almost see that left rear start to go a little bit low right there. You know, the thing that's so that's scary as a driver in that situation, you just don't know when it's going to stop rolling. You, you're just holding on tight. You don't want to feel one of those big impacts, which it didn't seem like he did, but it just kept going over and over. Yeah, I know Harvey wasn't in it, but his spotter sure was calm and cool.